Hi ladies, it's Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that I have in rotation. And these are like my spring and summer shades that I'm loving right now. And I'm excited to share them with you. I've had some recent comments on videos asking me what lipstick I was wearing in different videos. And one of you asked me like how that lipstick would compare to another one you had asked me about. So I will throw in one other lipstick from a different brand brand just to give you like a comparison of the shade. But I am just going to focus on Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks mostly. And before I start, I just wanted to share with you a little bit of information in case you're new to Charlotte Tilbury and you aren't really sure what's the difference between her formulas and, um, you know, why are some lipsticks $38 and some lipsticks are $35 and so on. So Charlotte Tilbury is a luxury beauty brand and she is cruelty free and she infuses her lipsticks with antioxidants and orchid extract. And if it is one of like her happy kiss hyaluronic lip balms, which I've shared with you in my lip balm video that I did this winter. This one is in Pillow Talk, and this has a lot of hyaluronic acid in it. So like her Matte Revolution formula might be a little bit um, higher in some like waxes and things like that to make the product last longer on your lips. And her Kissing formula, which is a satin kind of luminous formula, might have less of a waxy consistency, and they just feel um, a little more nourishing on your lips. But these lip balms are pretty high in ingredients for um, moisturizing and just restoring moisture to your lips. And that's what I'll say about this. This is in the shade Pillow Talk, which looks like this. It's just her pinky nude that she's so famous for. So I'm gonna jump in and I'm gonna share with you my favorite lipsticks in rotation and I'm gonna share with you her different formulas so that you'll know the difference. And she does have different ranges. So she does have a range of lipsticks that are $38 and that is her Hot Lips 2 range. And all of those lipsticks are named after celebrities, authors, um, rock stars, pop stars, people that have inspired her and who may inspire some of us. And um, those come in a really fancy deluxe reusable case and they retail for $38. And they look like this and all of the cases are different depending on the one that you get, but they are all reusable. So when you finish up the lipstick, you can pop the cylinder out and purchase a refill and it doesn't have to be a refill in the same color that you originally purchased and then you just drop the refill in and a magnet will lock it into place and you're good to go until you run out of that one and decide to purchase another one. So I do have two from the Hot Lips 2 collection with the reusable cases and of this range there are five kissing formula, remember the luminous formula and five from the matte revolution formula so there's some mattes too and those are just mattes and her mattes are incredibly cushiony and they last a long time and they're not patchy at all they have just enough wax in them to have them glide onto your lips and keep them in place but not so much that they're patchy and if you're a lipstick kind of sore like I am, you'll know what I'm talking about. They're just like perfect. So I think of all her formulas, I think the kissing formula is my favorite, but there are times where I'll use a matte revolution formula and I'll think, no, this is my favorite. So I think it depends on the time of year because in the winter I kind of stay away from the mattes and I go with more of the Hyaluronic Kiss formula or the Kissing formula because they're more hydrating. And then in the spring and summer or for a night out, I use the Matte Revolution. So they all have a purpose in my opinion. And then her next range is the original Hot Lips collection. Remember the one I just talked about is Hot Lips 2 in the deluxe packaging. These come in this type of packaging and they just have her initials on the top. They're golden cases and they have a little bit of heft to them, but not a lot. And I appreciate that. They don't feel cheap or chintzy. You know you have a luxury product, but yet it's not so heavy that 
it's like some of the packaging of luxury products I feel like can be ridiculous. They can weigh like a few pounds and you put in your purse and your purse is weighed down. You know what I mean? I'm exaggerating obviously, but it's like just enough. It's deluxe, it's luxurious without being overly heavy, weighty, or gaudy. So I really like these. And these also come in the kissing formula or the matte revolution formula. So something important to remember is that when you're purchasing a shade, if you're doing it online, make sure that you know whether it's the Kissing More Luminous Formula or the Matte Revolution Formula, whichever is the one that you intend to buy because when you look at her shades online, it will say, but I've accidentally purchased like a matte formula when I thought I was getting a satin formula. But when I'm in store, it's easier because they're all kind of laid out before you and you can tell the difference. But you still do have to pay attention because the mattes don't look like overly matte, like powdery matte, where you can just see by looking at them. So I wanted to make sure I shared that with you. Now I am wearing the very first Charlotte Tilbury lipstick I ever purchased, and it is in her iconic Pillow Talk, which is the color that she's like famous for. She does Pillow Talk in so many different shades and ways, blushes, eyeshadows, lip products, you name it, Pillow Talk is her thing. So the very first lipstick I ever purchased was this mini set from Sephora and it's the matte revolution formula so it is her matte formula and it came with her iconic pillow talk lip liner which you if you watch me you've heard me say I use this with just about every lipstick that I wear. This is my go-to. I have these all over the place pillow talk lip liners and um, it's my hands down, holy grail lip liner. And it is the kind that you need to sharpen. So it's like a pencil, you just put it into your little sharpener and sharpen it, and it lasts a very long time. I got this in a set, and I'm wearing the Pillow Talk Matte Revolution right now. It's this one and I'm going to show you how it looks. So that's the Pillow Talk Balm in the Hyaluronicus, and this is the Matte Revolution formula and that's what it looks like. It's kind of like a pinky nude, I suppose. It does come in three different shades. I have the lightest one. There's also a medium and a deep, but they're all pillow talk. And you can select the one that's best suited for you. So this is one that is like a great place to start if you've never tried Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and you wanna jump right in with a matte revolution formula. So I'm gonna start with my Hot Lips 2 collection. I have two. <laughs> I have Dance Floor Princess. This one was named for Kylie Minogue. And I also have Angel Alessandra. And I just purchased this one in the um, Sephora sale that's ending tomorrow. And um, I love them both. I was really not sure if I should purchase Angel Alessandra or JK Magic, which is named for JK Rowling. That one is a little more peachy warmer and so I decided just to go with Angel Alessandra and next time I'll try the JK Magic um, and this one is named for one of um, I was gonna say Charlie's Angels one of the Victoria's Secret Angels Alessandra so that doesn't really mean anything to me but you might know who she is and this is how it looks I'm swatching it on a napkin so that I can swatch it with other shades so that you'll see how it looks in comparison on a perfectly white surface. Okay, so let me give this a try. And I'll just do a light coat. And that's how that looks. And I was wearing this in a recent video and a couple of you asked what I had on. This is how it swatches and this is how it looks. Okay, the next one from my Hot Lips 2 collection is also a satin formula. I hope I said that with the one I just had on. It was a satin. It wasn't a matte. And this is Dance Floor Princess. And I saw this on Sugar Puffin Stuff's channel years ago when it probably first came out. And I thought it was so pretty, but it was never in stock. So I just couldn't get my hands on it until about six months ago. So this is Dance Floor Princess, and it's named after Kylie Minogue, the pop star. And I'm going to swatch that right beside 
the Angel Alessandra. So this is what it looks like. It's definitely a pinky nude and it looks really concentrated on the white napkin, but I'll show you what it looks like on my lips. Okay, so this one is Dance Floor Princess. This is just a great everyday color that will match pretty much any makeup I have on my face. It's definitely a go-to for me. It's one of my favorite nudes. The next one is called Live It Up. And this is a really beautiful pink. And I really like this in my collection in the springtime because it matches so many rosy makeup looks or pinky makeup looks. And let me show you how it looks. So that's what it looks like. It's kind of like just a pale pink. And I feel like it has like a little bit of like um, lavender. If you are familiar with MAC Fabby, it kind of reminds me of the same kind of undertones in it. So this is Live It Up. I feel like it completely clashes with the bronze makeup look I have on today. But I think that you can get the idea of what it looks like and it's so pretty whenever I wear this. I actually don't bronze my skin very much when I wear this. I like to leave my skin really pale and I like to do like really light pink cheeks and like rosy eye makeup and this is the lipstick I grab almost every time for that makeup look. Live it up and it is a satin formula. Okay, this one, I was drawn to it by the name of the celebrity, which is Kidman, Nicole Kidman, because she has very similar coloring to mine. So I thought this lipstick would be perfect. It is the Matte Revolution formula. So it's not, it's not the kissing formula. And it's just like a, or kind of a rose petal pink is the way it's described. And let me show you how it looks. Okay, again, this one kind of clashes with the bronzy makeup, but pretend that it doesn't. And this is what it looks like. It's right here. And the swatches are so pigmented. They really do come off a little bit lighter on your lips than they do on these swatches. But this is the Matte Revolution formula. If you put this on in the morning, you won't need to retouch your makeup or your lipstick till like after you've eaten like a greasy salad or pizza or something at lunch. Kidman's Kiss. And the matte formula, like I said, is really cushiony. It's got enough wax in it to glide on, but is not patchy. So it's really easy just to get your lipstick on. You don't need to use a mirror. It will just stay in place and won't feather into lip lines or any of that nonsense. Okay, this next one is a really popular shade and I don't like the name of it. I feel like Charlotte Tilbury keeps everything so classy that I, I don't know, I prefer that she not put like a swear word in her names. I'm not really a prude. There's some brands I kind of expect that kind of thing, but I don't know. I don't expect it from her. And this is the Kissing Formula, and this is B-I-T-C-H. Perfect. So let me show you what this one looks like. So that's what that one looks like. And as you can see, some of the nudes are similar, but if you are an appreciator of nude lipstick, you'll appreciate the subtle differences between the nudes. And I am an appreciator of nude lipsticks. So let me try this one on, B word perfect. And this one is definitely a nude. I feel like it leans a little more coral or peach than Kidman's Kiss or Live It Up, where the, or Dance Floor Princess even, those lean definitely more pink. Okay, this one is another kissing formula and I wanted this lipstick to work for me so bad. I'm still not sure that it does, but it looks beautiful on so many women. It's, I think, one of her best sellers, but I'm not sure it's perfect for me, but I try. And this is Kim KW, and as you can see, it's a very kind of light, luminous pink. And let's go ahead and give this one a try. I feel like this one does look a little better with a little lip liner, the Pillow Talk lip liner, just to add a little bit of definition around my lips because I feel like this one can look a little concealer-ish, but the formula feels really good. It's the Kissing Formula, and 
Um, it's not chalky or anything like that. So this one is Kim KW. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more nude and I didn't purchase this one. Well, I did purchase it, but it came in the Super Nudes kit. So I purchased the Super Nudes eyeshadow palette. I think it came with a lip liner. I think it came with this lipstick. Um, I got it a while ago, but I don't wear this one very much because I don't think it's best suited for me. It's definitely a nude, but it's different than the Kim KW, which I feel like I can pull off like with the lip liner and the right other makeup. And I'm going to swatch it right next to Kim KW. And as you can see, this one has like more rusty or brownie undertones. This is Kim KW and this one's Cover Star and it came with the Super Nudes collection and you can still purchase this on the Charlotte Tilbury website. It is limited edition and I'm told that she, when she says something is limited edition, hurry <laughs> because you won't be able to get it if you like it. So let me show you how it looks on me. And I don't feel like it's best suited to me. It does look okay with the makeup I'm wearing today, kind of like the bronzy look, but um, I don't know. I don't feel like it does anything for me. I don't know. I don't know. You can let me know what you think. Okay, and I'm going to do one more lipstick, and this is not a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in the Satin Formula in the shade Tease. I don't own a lot of Anastasia lip products, but um, I did pick this up, and I had it on in a recent video, and one of you asked me what I was wearing when I was wearing Angel Alessandra. And then in another video, I had this one on in like my last couple of videos. And you asked me again what this one was and I told you, and then you asked me which one I liked more. So I wanted to show you the difference between the shades. And so this is Angel Alessandra and this is Tease. It's definitely a lot pinkier. And I'm gonna swatch it next to Angel Alessandra. So there's Angel Alessandra and there's Tease. So it's pinkier, it's a satin formula and where the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick retails, especially Angel Alessandra being in the deluxe kissing two packaging, recyclable packaging or reusable packaging, I should say, is 38, these are 23. So there's a considerable price difference. And let me show you what this one looks like. And again, I wear this with the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner and Pillow Talk. And um, it's just pinkier. I think it's a really pretty nude. I feel like um, it's really good quality. If I'm being nitpicky, I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury formula glides on a little better, where this can kind of, I don't know, look a little patchy sometimes, and I have to kind of smooth it out. And I also feel that I need to reapply this during the day more often. It definitely wears for a decent amount of time, four hours, you know, you're drinking and going through your day and you might need to touch it up or kind of like, um, I don't know, kind of pat it into your lips a little and, and reapply a little bit. But for the price difference, it might just be worth it, you know, to save yourself over $10. You to try the Anastasia and Tease, you're saving a considerable amount of money. So I, that's why I'm bringing this one in to answer your question and share the comparison. And um, it just depends on how important it is to you that your lipstick like the Charlotte Tilbury, I'm not picky about really at all. This, you know, I'm kind of like, oh, okay, I do have to touch it up. And it doesn't go into lip lines or anything like that. It just doesn't, um, I don't know. I, I, I wanted to say maybe it's waxier, so it makes it a little patchier, but I'm not 100% sure that's what it is, but that's my best description. So anyways, I hope that you found this video helpful. My Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks I have in rotation, and if you're new to Charlotte Tilbury products, I hope that this helped you kind of understand the differences between her products, her different lipstick products, so you can make an informed decision when you try your first Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. And thank you for spending some time with me. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. I'll see you next time.